be weeds here. I got a great example of purslane versus pro straight spurge. Here you can see the the uh, purslane, way bigger leaf, growing a little more upright. You can see uh, uh, it's growing out from a center tap root. Um, if I pulled this out, you'd see a single tap root. The stem is very thick and fleshy. You can bend it and move it around. Um, now we have the spurge, uh, also uh, growing from a single tap root, but much smaller leaves. Um, uh, the, the color is a, a way darker green than the purslane, which is very light green. And if you crack a purslane in half, um, you can see the milky latex that comes out of the, the center. When you break purslane in half, it's just moisture. It's a lot of water. That's why they say this is a fleshy leaf. A lot, a lot of moisture held in purslane. They both like bare soil. Uh, you'll find this um, in areas where there's no grass, uh, nu uh, nutrient deficient turf. Like I said before, both these are used to identify nutrient deficient turf, but they do also love bare areas. The, you always see the, the spurge in cracks and sidewalks. Um, they just like dirt. Um, but they, they are found in uh, similar spots, that, which is why they get confused. Um, very easy to kill both these. Uh, will be killed with a regular three-way herbicide, 2,4-D, dicamba, and MCPP. We'll wipe this out, sticker or not. These aren't difficult at all. Um, not necessary to juice it up with uh, any other herbicides. Um, the most important is to make sure you're uh, getting the taproot dead. You don't want to just burn off the foliage, but the 2,4-D will move uh, right down in there very quickly. But with both of these, uh, that's the difference, and both very uh, simple to control, but they do get mistaken for each other.